get there in just a, a little bit. Um, I'll tell you, I've been chatting with my mom this morning. I've been chatting with my sister this morning. My sister was up uh, struggling to sleep. Uh, my mom did sleep last night. Uh, Greg, good morning. I miss you, man. Maria, good morning. Phyllis, good morning. Desiree, good morning. Uh, we're just sharing this to a couple of, couple of different spots on the World Wide Web here. Brian, good morning. Jacqueline, good morning. Your four cats say hi. Oh, my goodness. Four cats. Bless you. I don't know how you do it. So I was getting ready this morning, setting up my shot, making the forecast, all those kinds of things. And um, it's a little dark, but I had enough snow to cover my patio table and chair and my deck. And I know I'm not alone in those observations. Uh, believe it or not, there were salt trucks out yesterday in Kent County, yesterday morning. It's wild stuff. Um, the snow that we're forecasting for Friday could, could be plowable. Now, we're not saying everywhere. Eddie, good morning. Josie, good morning. Linda, good morning. Charlotte, good morning. Dawn, good morning. Uh, Lynn, good morning. Lynn, always great to see you. Lynn has some wonderful photos that she takes of nature around us, and we love to show her photos on TV. This morning, we showed Donna Young's photo out of um, Lake Templeen. It was sun and snow at the same time yesterday, so that was really kind of an interesting, interesting combination. But uh, here, I'll show you. Maybe you can see it. Maybe you can see it. Uh, okay, Peter. I don't know. It might be tough. To, oh, yeah, I think you could see, see the table there in the background. Yeah, there's our snow. So enough to enough to notice. Chris, it's your Monday night. Oh, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend. Mike, good morning. Yeah, I, we do need sun, Josie. You are right about that. You are right about that. Let's see. Timothy, good morning. Roger, good morning. Mom, good morning. Love you, Mom. Good to see you on here. I miss you and Dad and the cats also. Emma, good morning. Peter saw a coyote on his run. Oh, man. Be safe, Peter. Good to see you, Peter. Sherry, good morning. Amy Featheringham McFarlane, good morning. All right. Uh, Wes, good morning. Wes, I think you got me, man. Wes and I are playing Scrabble, and he just keeps beating me. I just, I just can't beat him, you know? I guess when you're good, you're good. So, um, so that Wes is my dad's brother, by the way. Uh, Bill, thank you for joining us this morning. Um, Sherry, you're talking to my mom. Appreciate that. Sheila, good morning. Oh, man. Well, thanks for watching, Sheila. Sheila says, good morning from Wyoming. Really enjoy your show. Love, Rex, and your devotion to mom. Well, mom's the best, right? I mean, come on. Ed, good morning. Uh, Ed Bowling. Yeah, Chris, we're all on our, our own staycation right now, aren't we? Well, I'll tell you what's coming up. We have, of course, Rex. He's awake, but he's in the bedroom right now and he's chilling out. So we just want to get through this final weather before he comes out and starts to eat cords and stuff like that. So um, just uh, a little bit longer. David, good morning, man. What's up, David? Okay, so here's what's coming up. We're in a break right now. Storm deaths, not a good story. The Titanic. Hmm. The Boston Marathon, also not a good story that's uh, on this date kind of thing. Seven years ago, the Boston Marathon bombing. Can you believe that? It's been seven years. Um, the Cathedral Fire, Notre Dame, we're going to get an update on the status of that. So um, that's important. Karen, good morning. And then we're going to weather. And we're going to go to Allegan, and then we're going to toss back to Laura. So we'll, we'll write that stuff down just to make sure we got it here. Allegan. And then Laura. Okay. Let's see here. Lori, good morning. Thank you for watching. South Haven seeing snow. Visibility is five miles.